Hey guys, this is Unders, and today we're going to have a little look at Neutron and using its inverse link EQ feature. Now, what the inverse link does is allow you to connect two EQs, and anything you apply to one, it does the opposite in the other. So, this is really useful for the masking features, but as well, it's good to pick an area that you really want to accentuate in another and know that it's not going to cause a conflict in the other two. So what I've got here is the drums and bass bus up on a track that is drum and bass predominantly. So those are the two main things we've got going. Have a quick listen. It sounds pretty good and I've got a balance going of everything that I want going on but what we're going to do is just uh, play around with the inverse link. So I'm going to take the drums one here on the right hand side and we're going to tap mask in. Now mask is going to then connect it to one that's already been connected to. In this case it's a bass because it's the only one that's available for it. And you'll see that I've got the EQ curve that's on the left over here down the bottom here. And what we're going to do, we're going to put inverse link on. And we're going to turn 7 on on the top one here. And you'll see when I touch this one, it's going to activate on the one below. And you'll see it also happen on the EQ over on the left. Boom. So now I'm going to play the drums and just sweep through. I'm going to try and grab a spot that sounds okay and would benefit from being boosted slightly. There you go, so I've grabbed like the uh, bottom sort of end there of the hi-hats. Um, if we hold Alt and click that, we can hear exactly what frequency that's touching. And what's really useful is where I've boosted that frequency and given it that extra little bit of high end, it's taken it away in the bass for me. So I can apply a very small amount here and where we've only boosted that by around 2 decibels. It's dropped this by 2 decibels as well. So it's given us a 4 decibel range in that exact spot. Now what else is useful about that? Perhaps we don't want that bit in the base to always be taken out. Well, we can select that one at the bottom and bring this little menu up here turn on dynamic mode, turn on compress and we can have it compress only when that other area is done and we'll go do, 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 external band 7 and now it's only dipping when there's audio coming through on that point up here anything within that range And that's just a really simple use of the inverse link in boosting areas and not causing conflicts. And then how using the dynamic side of the EQ, you can actually not really affect the other sound too much, but you can create space exactly where you want it when you need to create it. Thanks very much, guys. See you in the next video.